I bought an air fryer for the sole purpose of making crispy french fries at home. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make them too so that you'll get perfect air fryer french fries every time. To get started, slice the potatoes into thin french fry shapes, about a quarter to a half inch thick. The thinner you slice them, the crispier they will be. I'm using one pound of russet potatoes today because I prefer their texture for french fries, but you can also use Yukon Gold potatoes with good results. If you're interested in cooking sweet potato fries, they require a slightly different preparation, so check out my other recipe if you want to make those. For the crispiest french fries, it's best if you can soak the potatoes in cold water for 10 to 30 minutes. I know some people recommend soaking them for two hours or more, but even just a little bit of soaking helps, and I rarely have the patience to soak them for more than 30 minutes. Soaking the potatoes helps draw out some of their starch, which will help your french fries cook more evenly. For even better soaking results, try adding a tablespoon of salt to the soaking water. The salt water will help draw out some of the moisture in the potatoes, making them even crispier. If you skip the soaking step, the fries will probably brown faster on the outside before the middles are totally tender. Either way, your french fries will be crispy, but I think the texture is a little better when you take the time to soak them first. Once the potatoes are done soaking, drain the water and pat them dry with a towel, removing as much moisture as possible. Dry out the bowl too so that you can reuse that for the seasoning. Preheat your air fryer to 375 degrees then add the sliced potatoes back into the bowl. Drizzle them with about one tablespoon of olive oil and toss well. Season them with a half teaspoon of salt and I like to add in a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder too. When the air fryer is done preheating, arrange the fries in a single layer on the bottom of the air fryer basket. Be sure to leave space between the fries so they aren't touching. Then cook them for 10 minutes. You'll probably have to cook these fries in two separate batches since they won't all fit in a single layer at once. I'm using a six quart basket style air fryer today, but you can also make these in a convection style oven when you use a wire tray that allows for even crisping. I think the french fries made in the basket style air fryer turn out a little crispier, but they're still delicious either way. When the timer goes off, shake the basket to help turn the fries so they will cook evenly then return the basket and cook for another five minutes or so until they are totally crispy. Repeat with the remaining fries you have for a second batch. When all of the fries are done cooking, you can add them all back into the air fryer to cook for another one to two minutes. You don't have to worry about them being in a single layer this time because this cooking cycle is just about making sure that first batch is hot and crispy again so you're ready to serve. Homemade french fries are best when you serve them warm right away with your favorite dip. If you have any leftovers, you can store them in an airtight container in your fridge for up to five days. To reheat them, just throw them back in your air fryer basket and cook for four minutes at 375 degrees or until they feel hot again. Just keep in mind that reheated fries won't be quite as crispy as they are the first time you cook them. I hope you'll enjoy these crispy air fryer french fries soon. And if you'd like the printable recipe to save for later, you can grab that over on my website, detoxanista.com. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos here for more quick and easy real food recipes.